Do you know why hypertension is deemed a silent killer? Did you even know that in 2021 alone it killed almost 700,000 people in the US alone? Do you also know that half the population is at risk? Do you know you can also manage it naturally with some special yet common foods? Yet many people know so little about it and many people ignore the signs and risk factors. So, let's find out together in this video critical information you need to evade this silent health assassin, so please watch this to the end. If you are new to my channel, please like and subscribe. I am V and welcome to the best health channel on YouTube where we talk about everything related to your health and well-being. My aim is to create health awareness through my videos and I cannot do that without you, the audience who engage in my video and in return help promote it and health itself. Hypertension, known as high blood pressure, is widely recognized as a silent killer because it can lead to fatal health issues without exhibiting noticeable symptoms. The alarming statistics around hypertension underscore its serious implications for public health. In 2021, hypertension was a primary or contributing factor in approximately 691,095 deaths in the United States alone, highlighting its significant impact on mortality. The condition affects nearly half of the adult population, 48.1% or about 119.9 million people, but only about 22.5% of adults with hypertension have their condition under control. This lack of control is particularly concerning given that uncontrolled hypertension is a major risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, the leading cause of death globally. The geographic distribution of hypertension also varies, with higher rates observed in certain regions across the United States. This variation underscores the importance of targeted public health interventions and the need for increased awareness and control measures. Furthermore, the economic burden of high blood pressure on the United States averages about $131 billion annually, reflecting the extensive costs associated with treating the condition and its complications. Given these statistics, it's clear why hypertension is considered a deadly silent killer. The high prevalence, significant contribution to mortality rates, and substantial economic impact emphasize the need for increased screening, awareness, and effective management strategies to mitigate the risks associated with this condition. Hypertension is basically an increase in the pressure of your blood vessels. You know how the water pressure of a hose is, to increase the pressure, you either press it or change the hose to a smaller hose. It is the same with our blood vessels, blood pressure increases when there is something blocking out arteries or if something makes it narrow. You might be asking if higher pressure is not good, yes it is to a certain point of 120 mmHg, 80 mmHg. If it goes way lower than that, it is bad and if it goes way high than that it is bad also, if you have ever seen where they use water to do pressure washing then you understand why your blood should not flow at that speed and pressure, and you feel frustrated when your shower water pressure is too low, same thing with your blood pressure, your organs will feel annoyed too if it is too low. What can increase the pressure in our blood vessels? It can be neurological, diet or internal injuries, your brain can alter your blood vessel sizes in conditions like stress. Here are detailed explanations of the causes and risk factors for high blood pressure. Unhealthy diet. Consuming too much salt can cause the body to retain water, increasing blood pressure. Diets high in saturated and trans fats can also contribute to clogging arteries by causing atherosclerosis, so try to reduce your cholesterol as it is the leading cause of atherosclerosis. I made a video about that, you should see it. Physical inactivity. Lack of exercise can lead to weight gain which is a key risk factor for hypertension. Regular physical activity helps maintain a healthy heart and blood vessels. Ordinary daily walks of about 15 to 30 minutes can go a long way. Obesity. This is related to physical inactivity too. Excess body fat strains the heart, requiring it to work harder to pump blood, which raises blood pressure. Tobacco use. Smoking and tobacco use can damage the lining of artery walls, which can increase blood pressure and heart rate. Nicotine also narrows blood vessels. Alcohol consumption. Drinking alcohol in large amounts can damage the heart and lead to increased blood pressure. Stress. Long-term stress can contribute to hypertension, possibly through unhealthy habits like overeating, poor sleep, or substance use that people might adopt to manage stress. Age. As people age, the risk of high blood pressure increases due to natural changes in blood vessel elasticity. Family history. Genetics play a significant role. If your close relatives have hypertension, you're more likely to develop it. Chronic conditions, kidney disease, diabetes, and sleep apnea can increase the risk of high blood pressure. Ethnicity. Certain ethnic groups, such as African Americans, are at higher risk for hypertension. 
Addressing these factors through lifestyle changes and, when necessary, medication, can help manage and prevent high blood pressure. Normal blood pressure is generally defined as a systolic pressure, the top number, below 120 millimeters of mercury, mmHg, and a diastolic pressure, the bottom number, below 80 millimeters of mercury, often expressed as, below 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury. These values are considered optimal for cardiovascular health. But, some people have blood pressure higher than that and it is also considered normal for them. Hypertension, or high blood pressure, is categorized into two stages according to the American Heart Association. Stage 1 Hypertension Systolic pressure ranging from 130 to 139 millimeters of mercury or diastolic pressure ranging from 80 to 89 millimeters of mercury. Stage 2 Hypertension Systolic pressure of 140 millimeters of mercury or higher or diastolic pressure of 90 millimeters of mercury or higher. Blood pressure between 120 80ths of a millimeter of mercury and 129 80ths of a millimeter of mercury is recognized as elevated, which means it's not yet in the range of hypertension but is higher than the normal range. This condition signals an increased risk of developing hypertension in the future. These definitions help healthcare providers determine the appropriate treatment strategy, which may include lifestyle changes, medication, or both, to manage blood pressure and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. High blood pressure, or hypertension, often does not cause noticeable symptoms, which is why it's known as a silent killer. However, in some cases, particularly when blood pressure reaches very high levels, individuals may experience certain signs and symptoms. It's important to note that these symptoms can be nonspecific and may not occur in everyone with high blood pressure. Here are some potential signs. Headaches. Severe headaches may occur, but it's a common misconception that they are a regular symptom of high blood pressure. Persistent or severe headaches warrant medical evaluation. Shortness of breath. Experiencing difficulty breathing, especially with exertion, could be a sign of high blood pressure affecting the heart. Nosebleeds. While not as common, some individuals with high blood pressure might experience nosebleeds. Flushing. The face and neck may appear red due to dilated blood vessels, which can be related to high blood pressure. Vision problems. High blood pressure can lead to changes in vision, including blurred or double vision or flashes due to damage to the blood vessels in the eyes. Chest pain or palpitations. High blood pressure can lead to heart-related symptoms, such as chest pain or palpitations, especially if it causes heart disease. Fatigue or confusion. Severe hypertension can affect your mental state, leading to feelings of fatigue or confusion. Blood in the urine. In some cases, high blood pressure can cause kidney issues, which might result in blood appearing in the urine. Remember, many people with high blood pressure may not experience any symptoms until significant damage has occurred, highlighting the importance of regular blood pressure screenings. Or, if you have a history of high blood pressure, I recommend by a sphygmomanometer, maybe the digital version and record your blood pressure every morning and evening to keep it in check. If you suspect you have high blood pressure or if you experience any of these symptoms, it's crucial to consult a healthcare provider for a proper evaluation and management. High blood pressure, or hypertension, can lead to numerous complications due to the long-term increased pressure on the arteries and the strain this puts on the cardiovascular system. These complications can affect various organ systems and lead to serious health issues, including heart disease and stroke. Hypertension can cause hardening and thickening of the arteries, atherosclerosis, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. It's a major risk factor for cardiovascular diseases, the leading cause of death worldwide. Aneurysms. Increased blood pressure can cause the blood vessels to weaken and bulge, forming an aneurysm. If an aneurysm ruptures, it can be life-threatening. Heart failure. Over time, the increased workload from high blood pressure can cause the heart muscle to thicken and become less efficient, eventually leading to heart failure. Kidney disease. The kidneys rely on healthy blood vessels to filter blood effectively. High blood pressure can damage the kidney's blood vessels, leading to kidney disease or failure. Vision loss. Hypertension can damage the delicate blood vessels in the eyes, leading to retinopathy, which can result in vision loss. Sexual dysfunction. High blood pressure can lead to erectile dysfunction in men and lower libido in women due to decreased blood flow. Peripheral artery disease, PAD. This condition, which can cause symptoms like leg pain when walking, is more common in people with high blood pressure. Cognitive decline. Hypertension is associated with an increased risk of cognitive decline and dementia by affecting the blood flow to the brain. 
These complications highlight the importance of managing high blood pressure through lifestyle changes, medications, and regular monitoring by healthcare professionals to prevent serious health outcomes. The medical treatment for high blood pressure, or hypertension, typically involves a combination of lifestyle changes and medications. The goal is to lower blood pressure to a safer level to prevent complications such as heart disease, stroke, and kidney failure. Remember that hypotension is as deadly as hypertension too, so be careful with the medications and only take them as your physician has prescribed. Here's an overview of common treatment strategies. Lifestyle changes. Dietary adjustments. Adopting a heart-healthy diet that's low in salt, saturated fats, cholesterol, and refined sugars. The DASH diet, dietary approaches to stop hypertension, is often recommended. I will explain 7 foods that are good for your pressure later in this video. Physical activity. Regular exercise helps lower blood pressure and maintain a healthy weight. Weight loss. Losing weight can significantly lower blood pressure. Limiting alcohol intake. Reducing alcohol consumption can help lower blood pressure. Quitting smoking. Smoking cessation improves overall heart health and can help lower blood pressure. Stress management. Reducing stress through techniques such as meditation, deep breathing, and yoga can also help control blood pressure. Medications. Several types of medications are used to treat high blood pressure, and some people may need more than one type to manage their condition effectively. These include diuretics, also known as water pills. Diuretics help the kidneys remove excess salt and water from the body, reducing blood volume and pressure. Examples can be aldactone, Bumex, Demodex, and others. Beta blockers. These reduce the workload on the heart and open blood vessels, causing the heart to beat slower and with less force. Example can be atenolol, bisoprolol, labetalol, and others. ACE inhibitors. Angiotensin-converting enzyme inhibitors prevent the formation of a hormone that narrows blood vessels, improving blood flow. Examples can be enalapril, lisinopril, ramipril, and others. Angiotensin II receptor blockers, ARBs, block the action of a hormone that causes blood vessels to narrow. Examples can be losartan, valsartan, azelsartan, and others. Calcium channel blockers, help relax the muscles of your blood vessels and slow the heart rate. Renin inhibitors, decrease the production of renin, an enzyme the kidneys produce that starts a chain of chemical steps that increases blood pressure. Alpha blockers, reduce the arteries resistance, relaxing the muscle tone of the vascular walls. A healthcare provider will consider various factors, including the severity of hypertension, the presence of other health conditions, and potential side effects, before prescribing a specific medication or combination of medications so make sure you buy these medications only with a doctor's prescription. Regular monitoring and follow-up appointments are crucial to adjust the treatment plan as needed. Patients are often advised to monitor their blood pressure at home to ensure that their treatment plan is effective. For the most accurate and personalized advice on treating high blood pressure, it's essential to consult a healthcare provider who can tailor a treatment plan to the individual's health needs and lifestyle. Incorporating certain foods into your diet can help manage and lower high blood pressure. These include Leafy greens, high in potassium, helping kidneys get rid of more sodium through urine, which lowers blood pressure. Berries, especially blueberries, which are rich in natural compounds called flavonoids that can lower blood pressure. Beets, high in nitric oxide, which can help open blood vessels and lower blood pressure. Oats, contain beta-glucan, a type of fiber that has been shown to reduce blood pressure. Bananas, a good source of potassium, crucial for blood pressure control. Garlic, can increase nitric oxide production, which helps dilate blood vessels, reducing blood pressure. Dark chocolate, contains flavonoids that can lower blood pressure, but it should be consumed in moderation. These foods can be part of a balanced diet to help lower blood pressure naturally alongside regular exercise and healthy lifestyle choices. Hypertension is a silent killer because it typically presents no symptoms, yet it significantly increases the risk of heart disease and stroke. It's crucial to manage risk factors like diet, exercise, and lifestyle habits to prevent its onset. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please remember to like and subscribe for more health insights. Most importantly, take care of your body, it's the only place you have to live. Stay informed and proactive in managing your health to combat the silent threat of hypertension.